So for this PowerPoint, we're going to look at the, the design principles um, in photography and how they work with, with photography. So with, um, with design principles, it's the design elements that we've already looked at that combine to, that, to make up the design principles. Now, um, these bring um, order and balance to your photographs and they help you with the design and the layout of your photos. And when we understand a little bit more about design principles, it helps, helps us to um, identify and solve the problems that we have with our photos. And um, they can also work in conjunction with one another just as the design elements can. So we'll start with unity. So the idea of unity um, is that the image is whole and united so by creating um, an attachment between the elements. So um, you might have um, one of your elements might be, um, might be shape and we have that unity when they're um, either touching or overlapping or they're placed near each other or they're um, part of a sequence so um, this could be as I said shape or um, color or any um, line any of those um, elements that we've already looked at and it's created usually through composition so using either um, an implied triangular shape or the rule of thirds and once we get into um, composition and cropping we'll understand that a little bit better so in this example of Sandy Scoglands, we, um, we've got um, the simplicity here with all the dogs and the, um, the background that are the same colour. Um, and um, we've got the repetition. So we've got this, um, that, this, that subject, so the, the dog is repeated throughout the image. And we've also got proximity, so um, they all come together and they're all in um, close proximity to one another So they're, and they're not, um, well they are spread out but they are all in um, close proximity. And we've also got the same here, so we've got the same thing, we've got simplicity, repetition and proximity, so the leaves are all the same shape and colour. They might, um, might be bigger you know, and smaller but they are all still the same shape and um, the leaf is repeated and they all um, are very close in proximity to one another so they're not um, spread out all over the place a lot of no space between them and the next um, design principle we're looking at is proportion so this is where we have the relationship between the size of the objects within the image and the size of the image itself. Okay, so we, ex our eye, or we, our mind, in our mind, we expect things to be in proportion to each other. And um, photographers and artists like to manipulate this um, to get a response from um, from their viewer. So, um, and it's and it's really necessary for us to compare sizes of objects to see which is larger or smaller. And this, um, and in um, creating proportion, looking at proportion, we can um, imply emphasis within an image. So, in this um, example of a, a shop window, we can see how um, by changing that proportion, that the emphasis is clearly on the teacup. That it's. Um, an Alice in Wonderland theme and um, that unexpected sizing that we see where it's, it's been manipulated um, between the cup and the model they're obviously on the same um, picture plane there they're both um, next to each other so the, the model isn't in the background as we might our eye or our mind tries to tell us but it's um, actually next to the cup so that um, changing that in changing that proportion which brings us to emphasis 
So when we create a point of interest or a, um, a focal point to um, attract our viewers' attention, this is what um, we're creating an em creating emphasis within the image. Um, and so these using these techniques, um, this is how we can create that. So with the, the placement of our subject, um, which could be close to or in the center of an image or by using the rule of thirds um, or by looking at scale. So the subject is the largest feature of the image that can create some create emphasis by creating more detail in this with the subject. Um, so in in photography we might use a shallow depth of field and some of you have been experimenting with that technique already. Um, isolation, so you might um, put the subject on its own um, and just separate it from other things, the other um, features in your image. And contrast, so by contrasting um, um, your subject um, to the rest of the image, you um, could, yeah, you, you can create um, ever emphasis. So we saw that um, in an image in the design elements where they had the purple and the yellow together. So that is um, creating a contrast or black and white um, to simplify a little bit more. And line. So when we use line, um, this leads the viewer's eye to the subject. All right, so in this one here, you can see obviously the, the emphasis is on the umbrella where the color is um, emphasized by the surrounding white snow. So you've got that beautiful, colorful umbrella. And um, also that's, that's um, using the rule of thirds. So if you were to divide that image up into thirds, um, across ways and um, up and, and down ways, you would have like a, a rectangle in the middle and we can place our emphasis, um, our point of emphasis on those points where they're, um, they're interconnecting lines. So this use of line draws the um, viewer's eye to the focal point. So you've got those lovely rays of sunshine, they're all leading to the sun. There. And here we have um, an example where they've used shallow depth of field to focus on the detail of the subject. So everything else is blurry except for that um, section of the boy's face. Which brings us to repetition and rhythm. So in repetition we um, see continuity and order through um, the repetition of a design element. So um, that might be um, shape or the repetition of a colour or form or and by recognising the repetition we can see the similarities within the image um, which allows us to move um, freely around the image so um, um, we're not stuck in one place within the image. Um, and so when we have... Um, with the repetition of the line and the shape of the colour or texture. So this um, creates a harmonious balance and unifies an image. So similar um, to that um, description of a harmonious colour where it's um, where you have um, similar colours are called harmonious colours with the same thing with the repetition of these elements. And this unifies the image. And with rhythm, so rhythm is um, created through ordered repetition. So um, we might have um, something that's um, has been repeated, and that creates a rhythm. And um, this can also um, create movement within an image. So here we've got the repetition of the line and the shape and the color um, creating a rhythm. Um, 
and movement across the image. We've also got um, these Boab trees again and they um, there's a um, there's a, a movement created through here as our eye moves through the um, the image um, to the um, towards the background so we we focus on that that big one at this at the, in the foreground there and then we just move throughout the image to the smaller boab trees brings us to balance so a visually pleasing composition or the aesthetics of an image um, needs balance so we need to have that feeling of equilibrium and order so there's two ways of um, balancing an image so we can have the asymmetrical or the symmetrical balance so the first one asymmetrical balance is when um, so we've got the elements on the opposite sides of the central axis of the image um, they're evenly weighted so they don't have to be the same size or shape or even the same object or um, element but they do have to have the same visual weight so this is um, this is what describes how much something in an image pulls your eye to look at it Right, so like so that if you had a little black dot on a white background, it carries a lot of visual weight. Alright, so hopefully that makes sense. So here um, we can see that we have various um, chess pieces. So the smaller chess pieces on the right um, balance out the image um, even though they're different shape and size to the one um, chess piece on the left okay so we have that um, even visual weight so the reflections are all they also provide a little bit of balance within the image and here we have um, just an image of a butterfly and some flowers and so we've got these the group of flowers even though it's a completely different thing different um, object to the butterfly but they definitely balance out the image in um, opposition to the butterfly so um, even though they're completely different shapes and colors and textures the visual weight of each subject is um, very similar then we've got symmetrical balance so this is where um, it's there's a mirrored like an Im the, the image is is mirrored on either side of the central axis so um, if there's a large shape on one side of the image then there'll be a shape of similar size on the other side so this is a good example of that um, if you were to draw a line down the middle of that image you would have that um, symmetrical balance on um, of the um, image except for the man everything is pretty much the same on either side and here the same so we have if we were to put a line through the middle of that image it, it's very um, symmetrically balanced on either side of that image and so that's it so hopefully um, you've got a, a better idea of um, the design principles and you'll be able to um, apply those to your own photographs.